Konnichiwa, Neon Strange Boy and Kai, back in our video. It's here with guys. We are doing a video called Trying to Understand the Face Series. The original link will be ensured by down below. The original creator of this video will be ensured by down below, guys. So, yeah, trying to understand the face series. As you guys all know, that the face series is a kind of confusing series. Like, if you are just getting to it, is it not like some where you could just, oh, I'm going to click on the third fate anime series or something like that and then start like that no like if you don't know like the whole gist of all of everything with the holy grail war and these servers are are people from like history like legend stuff like that then you're gonna be confused but anyway guys let's subscribe to the video make sure you click all on the notification bell and yeah guys so without further ado let's get right into this so play hi can i help you Hi, um, yeah, I was interested in the Fate franchise, and I heard I could come here for more information. Oh, well, come on in! Make yourself a home! Look, we're always... Is that Skyhawk in the back? To join our course, so it's pretty cool. to make things as easy as possible. You can ask me any question. Okay, so where do I start? Accept that question. <laughs> Is there not... Beginning. Do you want the long version or the short version? The short version. So in the beginning there was Fate Stay Night, which is a visual novel with three different routes. Fate, Unlimited Blade Works, and Heaven's Feel, which needs to be played out in that exact order. Now the Fate route has been adapted once by Studio Dean in 2006 as an anime series, Unlimited Blade Works has been adapted twice, once by Studio Dean as a movie, and once by Euphonable as a full series, who are also adapting Heaven's Feel, but only as a trilogy of movies, only of which one is out at the moment. I thought you were going to give me the short version. This is the short version. Yeah, it is. That's so sad. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, it's hard. To the world. Okay, so to get into why can't I just start with that? Because it's shit. Oh, yeah, in terms of mainline adaptations, only the ones by Euphonable are worth watching, but you can't start with Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works because that spoils Fate Zero. What's Fate Zero? Oh, well, it's just a prequel that takes place before Fate Stay Night and serves as a good introduction to the world of Fate. All right, so I'll just start with Fate Zero. Well, no, because Fate Zero spoils Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. Wait, 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 so in, in other words, <laughs> Fate Stay Night spoils Fate Zero, and Fate Zero spoils Fate Stay Night. Yep, that makes no sense. That's why you should just read the visual novel. All right, how long does that take? Around 100 hours. That's a pretty big commitment. Just read the visual novel. But I don't have 100 hours. Read the visual novel. Can't I just like... Read the fucking visual novel! <laughs> <laughs> or not, I can never remove myself read it. anyway. Okay, well, that's everything, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. There's more? <laughs> Do you want the long version or the short version? The short? Well, you see, you have Fate Hollywood Attracts here, which is a continuation of Fate Stay Night, but only exists in visual novels. Is this how it be when, you talk, when we talk Fate? Now, you also have Fate Prototype, which is a reimagining of the whole Fate Stay Night events. What about Extra and CCC? OVA form. So that's now everything. Fate Apocrypha takes place in a completely alternate universe, and this includes one anime adaptation and one light novel. And of course, there's the Fate Extraverse, which is another alternate universe, and this includes three games: Fate Extra, Fate Extra Triple C, and Fate Extella. And of course, they also had one anime adaptation in Fate Extra Last Encore. <sighs> okay. So, I'm guessing the only connection with all of these is that one chick with the sword. You mean Saber? Yes? Oh no, they're totally different characters. Yeah, Nero you see, and Saber. The original Saber is meant to be King Arthur, who in Fate Law is actually a woman. Now, these other Sabers aren't actually King Arthur. They're completely different characters who also happen to be women and also happen to be in the Saber class. Okay, so you're saying that this isn't the original Saber? Nope. And this? That's right. And everyone here? They're different characters and look similar. And these two Sabers are also different from each other. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, one's Red Saber and the other one is Saber of Red. Get it? No. It's pretty simple. <laughs> and they aren't related to the original Saber at all. Only Saber of Red. You mean the Saber that's red or the one that looks like Saber? Yes. <laughs> He's actually the original Saber's son. And 
and Saber, King Arthur, is her dad. Wait a minute, you, you literally just said that they were all girls. You said it, but... How does... Oh, it's basically the same as standard Arthurian legend, except this time King Arthur is given a dick by Merlin, who can then be forced upon by her wife so she can make a baby, and then out pops Mordred as your standard homunculus rape baby. There's no way that's canon. Oh, it's canon. If you want to learn more about the lore and the servants... Uh, the I wonder how does that work with the green in the background like that. Um, do I dare ask if I should Lost. get into fake gold? Depends. Do you have piles of money you wish to burn and countless hours to spiral downwards, grinding away in a never-ending cycle to satisfy your love for your fake waifus that you'll never ever get back? <laughs> you don't want to get into fake gold. And then of course there's Fate Kalia Prisma Ilia, which is a magical girl spin-off of the original Fate Stay Night. I don't think I need to watch that. It has lesbian lollies kissing. I think I'll need to watch that. <laughs> oh, and before I forget, there's also the cooking spin-off by Studio Euphotable, where basically the cast of Fate Stay Night cook food and stuff, and all of this is all part of the greater Nasu verse, which to explain- Right, stop! Okay? Stop. This is too much. This is a complete clusterfuck. How did this get so out of control? I literally have no idea! <laughs> I so that's the end, trying to understand the fate. Let's have, let's have a discussion in the comments down below, man. Because I know it's like when you talk to people about the Fate series and the Fate universe and you're just learning about it and stuff like that, like you're just getting into it. I know it's like a lot, but like you already like know like a good amount of it. It's kind of like, yeah, it's confusing, but this is the series and this is what's canon and everything like that. But anyway, guys, let's subscribe on the video. Make sure you click all so you know if I make a future upload, guys. Like I say, original link will be in short down below to follow this person. And to have this person's information, everything like that. Anyway, when you I'm out, here we are.